Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with my lamp and our three bins for the uh, reproduction experiment. My um, European night crawlers, my red wigglers, and my African night crawlers. And we started with four mature worms in each bin, trying to see which group would reproduce the fastest. So I wanted to get in here and take a look and see how it was going. So this is the European Nightcrawler bin. And more than anything, I just want to make sure that we still have worms. I see, saw that Lilia posted her update and um, had some, some worm die off, which was um, very disappointing to hear. So I just want to see if we can find our worms and see if they're alive. And I see one. He's rather feisty. I think he's okay. He looks nice and healthy, and the moisture in here feels pretty good. Maybe a hair dry, but, but not bad at all. Certainly conducive to the worms being okay in here. And let's come down here to the front. I think this is where we had our apple slice. And I should have put my light so that my arm wasn't causing a little glare here. But... I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing my apple slice at all. I see another worm. So we have one worm here. I really want to make sure I have all four of them. Here's another one. So one, we have two down here. There's three. I think four should be down here where we saw them a minute ago. Four. So, good news. We have all four of our worms and they are alive. And it appears that all of the food that, I mean, it was a thin slice of apple, um, but it appears to be completely gone. So that's rather interesting. So I'm going to set this bin aside for a second so we can take a look at our other bins. Okay, so this is our Red Wigglers. And again, the moisture in here feels good. Actually, there's a lot of moisture down here where the apple was. More so than in the other bin by far. Definitely won't have to add moisture to this bin. Because there's actually some standing liquid in the bottom. So it's not good, Emily. You messed something up there. Very strange. Because it was the same amount of water added to each of these bins to start. But there's no odor. And here is one worm. Thought I saw another one. Maybe not. You know, and you do see there's a little bit of that apple left for these guys. But I'm not seeing... Alright, I lied. Here's another worm. So this is worm number two. Right here. So one, two. Here's three and four. Down here, actually, in some of the standing liquid, but they look perfectly healthy. This guy's actually really big. Probably really nice and plump from all that moisture down there. Almost looks like a European nightcrawler, which is a little weird. But it's not. Oh, well, maybe it is. That's odd. I'm not... That is a European nightcrawler. Very interesting. Well, for sake of the experiment... I was pretty positive I had four reds in here, but I'm going to have to take a quick inventory in here when I'm done um, and make sure that he didn't come from somewhere else. I don't know how that would have happened, but I'll, I'll do a quick inventory and make sure that we're raising the right worms in here. But um, I think I may have to leave the lid off of these bins for a few days to try to even out the moisture in here. But again, all of our worms are alive. 
And here's our African Nightcrawler bin. <clears throat> when I picked these up, this one must have slid because all the bedding is down to one side. These guys should be pretty easy to spot because they're a large worm. Okay, so here's one African Nightcrawler. Again, really nice and borderline overly moist in here. Um, is that another one or is that the same one? That's the same one. More than anything this week, I just want to, to do the count since Lilia had an issue with her worms. Um, there's two, is that two and three? Yep, two, three, and four. So, all of our worms are in here. They're um, all healthy. There's still a little bit of um, food in all of the bins except for the European Nightcrawler bin. But I'm going to hop over, take another look at that Red Wiggler bin and make sure we didn't have some sort of rogue worm find his way in here. Okay, so any of my ID masters, <laughs> these are looking very much like European night crawlers, which is strange to me. I don't know how that would be. This guy down here is definitely a red. Um, I think this one probably is too, because some red wigglers do have the striping as well, so we got to keep that in mind. But this really long guy, I feel like he is definitely a European night crawler, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. And I think this guy over here could potentially be a European night crawler. So, this is an unusual set of circumstances here. I want to get your guys' input as to what you think these worms are. For now, they're staying in the bin. For sake of the experiment, this bin is mighty wet. So, I'm gonna pop these guys back in here. So my phone cut off on me, but the great worm dilemma of our three bin reproduction experiment has started for 2019. So uh, chime in, let me know what you think. For now, um, you know, Lilia had her own little confusion with hers, with why her worms were dying. She had to swap some out and I very well may have to swap some out, but you know what? It's an experiment. And the fact that there's several of us doing it alongside each other, hopefully we can um, kind of balance out each other's little nuanced issues along the way. But let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon to try to figure out this mystery and get ourselves back on track. Hope you have a great day.